Good day, guys. Good day, guys. This is uh, Mr. Shah. I'm back again. I'm back again, guys, uh, with another video, another update, guys. Um, I want us to quickly just look at um, Bitcoin. Today, we did saw Bitcoin hitting, uh, reaching or hitting more than around um, $66,000. Currently, now, if you see Bitcoin, now it's sitting on um, uh, $65,000. It's $65,000. Um, nine hundred and fifty-seven dollars, right? Now, if you check it now, it's up by six, six point three six. I mean, six point thirty-six percent, right? This is just wonderful. This is just amazing. We've been seeing um Bitcoin doing greater things, wonderful things. We've been seeing Bitcoin being implemented in 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 actually most places at this point in time. Right now, guys, as I'm talking to you right now, uh, Bitcoin right now, it's um. It's, 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 it's already adopted as a legal tender in uh, El Salvado. So there's many things, many things, many things that we've seen uh, uh, happening around Bitcoin, which is actually amazing stuff, amazing stuff, amazing stuff, and huge news each and every day. So this one is just a giant, um, uh, uh, the biggest, the biggest crypto in all the cryptos that we have. Now, guys, if we see something like this happening, we are still expecting... Um, uh the, the altcoin season to come right we are only waiting for bitcoin but we still believe that it is still coming and it's going to be a huge 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 one but we need to look at what is it actually that is happening behind um bitcoin at this at this current time at this current um uh, time what is actually happening around it what is it that has been pushing it up to that to this level at this point in time right now we already have countries like el salvador that have already adopted bitcoin as a legal tender right now if you check the current news right now there's a lot of things that is happening right now i was just reading news and then one thing that i found out is that um if you check here they say they're saying that this country uh could be next to implement crypto uh legal tender so it's another thing about cryptocurrency now countries are coming in as many as possible many like even if they're not coming in as legal tender but um uh, they are coming in, you know, as maybe a, a means of payment. You understand? There are places where now you can actually do transaction in terms of bitcoins and all those kind of things. Now, so now crypto the cryptocurrency space is just growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, look at this, guys. This is what is happening that is on 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 Bitcoin. This country could be next to implement crypto legal tender right now as they are going to to, to they, they, they will have to actually come and explain how they are planning to do so but if you can, you can read there you'll find that, that the latest update from zimbabwe zimbabwe is africa just our neighboring country in here in south africa they're just close to us so our fellow brothers now they're about to implement or they want to uh, uh actually implement crypto legal tender which i believe personal that is going to be good for for, for 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 the country of zimbabwe um at this point in time right uh, they say authorities has confirmed that the government is in consultation with the private market to legally adopt crypto payment services according to local news the exclusive um computer society of zimbabwe information communication technology summit so the permanent secretary uh and, and the head of our uh, uh, e-government technology unit in the office of um the president charles uh we get a certain that the authorities are undergoing talks with the private sector on how to implement crypto payments in routine use. So this is just amazing, guys. This is just amazing if you are to read there. Just however, he also noted that the drawbacks of the decentralizing sphere, including um unregistered cross-border movements, um externalization of funds, money laundering, and illicit flow of funds to further finance illegal and criminal activities. They, so they are aware of the disadvantages that, they are, that, that they've just mentioned and all those kind of things. But we believe that crypto is a very safe industry if it has been used, uh, in, in a, actually, if it is well adopted on, on all that. Right now, we've seen um, uh, El Salvador, they've already adopted it. They are using it everywhere. We've seen the country itself, they've been buying 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 bitcoin every time money drops they buy every time money drops they buy so when they want to implement crypto as a legal tender obviously they're going to have to go for something like bitcoin because for me it is actually like um it is actually um uh the the, the, the best in terms of uh, making legal tender all right now you look at this way get stated that the authorities are working towards um carving out policies to protect the consumers as well the, as to facilitate a better future of finance for the nation henceforth the government has uh, approach several sectors to acquire uh, perspective and from different walks of life before making radical policy changes. So there's a lot of things, and I believe that this is not just the only country, right? There are still a lot of countries that are still going to adopt or to implement 
crypto or Bitcoin legal tender, according to me, right? According to me, that's what I believe. So we have seen, um, we've seen actually, I used to say before, El Salvador actually um, implemented crypto legal tender. Now I've, 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 I've used to say that one day we'll see, we'll see Bitcoin being used as a means of transaction or as a, as a means of, uh, of of making transaction or as a means of uh, making payments. Now in, in, in El Salvador, yeah, there's a lot of things that are taking place right now. They are now currently building even a hospital out of the profit, profits that they made from Bitcoin. So this is huge. So lives have been changed already so you can't do away with crypto you can't do away with bitcoin right now the other news that i've seen as well that i really need to bring it to your attention guys is this now if you go down there now to look um uh, at, at what is it that is happening let's quickly check this out let's quickly check this out guys let's quickly check this out let's quickly look at this There's other countries as well that are um, looking at adopting Bitcoin uh, as a meant of um, uh, which, which uh, to adopt Bitcoin in order to use it to make payments to employees and all those kind of things, right? So now, if we go down here, okay. Now let's let's look at this. Let's look at this quickly. Let's check this out, guys. Before we really look at the analysis of what is it that is happening behind crypto. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So, if you really look at this, I have said this in some of my in on in, 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 in other posts that I've made in social network and all those kind of things that uh, already we already knew that there was another country that actually was looking into um, uh, adopting Bitcoin and all that. And I even said that the country is actually in the Southern America. After I've read some other news in some other platforms and all those kind of things, because I'm always doing research in crypto about crypto and all those kind of things. Now, Brazilian federal deputy proposes crypto payment option for workers, meaning that workers in Brazil right now, they might end up getting paid in Bitcoin. Now, if you read down there, you can go down and read about it. This is guys, this is just use news for Brazil. So we're still going to be seeing a lot of news like this coming in so don't be surprised if you see countries like zimbabwe and all those kind of uh, countries like zimbabwe actually um uh, opting to go after crypto uh, uh in order to try and um uh, uh, uh help their own country in terms of 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 of, 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 of transaction is, is when you when it concerns transaction then you can tell that there's still a lot of countries that are still coming to actually look into this many countries might be quiet and not saying anything but i could i quite believe that many countries especially in 2022 we're going to be seeing a lot of countries coming and adopting crypto and bitcoin as legal tender and as a, as a, as a, as a, as a means of payment as a payment option for workers and all those kind of things they're going to come in different ways but that news is coming those news are coming next year just watch out look out for this kind of news and this is one thing that's going to take bitcoin to another level i'm telling you and the crypto space might get into another level right it might have take, taken more than 10 years for bitcoin to really hit uh maybe uh sixty five thousand dollars or one million rand right but it might it might not take another 10 years for bitcoin to hit two million rand. that one you have to know that one you have to know. I really don't believe that it's going to take another 10 years for Bitcoin to hit to, uh, to, to, to 2 million. Right? It's not. It's not. It's not. Why? Because right now, everyone and everywhere, they're adopting Bitcoin. They're using Bitcoin. Right? Now, if you check this, Brazil Federal Deputy proposes crypto payment option for workers. So this is going down, guys. This is actually what is actually happening at this point in time. So this is just amazing. This is just amazing. And quickly, if you look at um, these guys now, they adopted, they actually updated something about um that i really ask want to look at before i actually leave you guys still opening so it's amazing guys it's amazing guys you can continue to check uh, Bitcoin, a lot of things are coming, a lot of things are happening. Uh, many people, many, many institutions at this point are adopting Bitcoins. And one thing that I love about Bitcoin is that even those ones who use to hate Bitcoin right now, they're speaking about Bitcoin. So you can't ignore it. You can't.
you, you just can ignore bitcoin so you can't be, ignore bitcoin you can't be, ignore uh the crypto space you can't anymore because this thing now is huge huge it's very 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 big at this point in time now what i wanted to look on the other side we can also look at it from here because this one is not actually opening just quickly look at it here i want us to look at the analysis um about bitcoin right now in this uh, this time because i told you that in the morning it did hit about uh, more than six uh, sixty six thousand dollars right and let's look at what is it that they're saying now it says bitcoin price uh, analysis btc rallies five percent to reclaim 65k crucial level right now you can see now bitcoin price has rallied uh 5.40 over the last 24 hours to trade okay to trade sixty five thousand dollars overcoming the overhead resistance on between 64 and then 65 i mean 64 to 66 000 is crucial to btc rolling higher a new earth right I th right now they are saying that B btc price is currently trading at 65 000 after um rising approximately 5.4 percent right over the last 24 hours meanwhile bitcoin market dominance has dropped from about 40 percent and btc rolling to hit uh, a new all-time high around sixty-seven thousand um, dollars on October twenty to forty-three percent at the time of writing. In addition, data you can see. The, go and read about these guys and try to find out what is actually happening. But these are just analysis that they are giving us about Bitcoin. Bitcoin was re was rejected by downtrend line on the second of November as buyers failed to push the price above the supply zone. Right. So you can go and read about it in order to try and understand what is it actually that is going to happen when it comes to Bitcoin. Right. Now, this bullish outlook will, however, be invalidated of Bitcoin price. Okay, of Bitcoin price drops back below an accelerated trend line. If this happens, BTC may drop to the tech of it can go back to sixty-two thousand um, dollars, right? Psychologically level. I mean, this is psychological level. The zone between sixty-two thousand dollars level and then fifty-day, um, fifty-day simple moving average. Is likely to attract the robust bullish support from the buyers. So the more things are happening behind this project, according to this analysis, it can yet still drop because of all those uh, of all those analysis that they are doing and all those kind of things. But what I'm trying to say to you guys is that there's a lot of things that are actually happening with this crypto or the, or, or this uh, this asset. Many people they've considered this as a place where they can actually. Some of them they call it um is um a place where they can actually actually be buying something because they feel like. Uh, it's where they can actually put their money, you understand? So because it's always moved up and down by supply and demand, and not actually uh, really about what is really happening around us and all those kind of things. So it's something that is very stable when it moves, it moves, so it's going down, it's going down. But you need to understand that right now there's a lot of people that are coming in. A lot of people now believe in crypto. A lot of people now they see the reason of crypto. Now many people are just jumping in, and we're going to be seeing a lot of things and a lot of. Um, uh, events happening around Bitcoin and all the old crypto market um, industry. So guys, just keep on uh, doing your research, keep on uh, reading the news, keep on following um, these things, guys, especially in, also in Africa, I would love to see the dominance of cryptocurrency because I believe that it can answer, it can answer a lot of problems that we already have as a continent. So when I see some countries like Zimbabwe uh, running away, I mean, I mean running to uh, crypto, in order to solve the issues that they have, you need to understand that crypto was designed to sign to actually solve the issues or the problems that we already have as a human beings. Now you see Zimbabwe going after crypto for me is just an amazing way. It's just amazing news that really made my day. Now looking at the price of Bitcoin, that today it hit about sixty thousand, sixty six thousand dollars, and now trading at about sixty five thousand dollars. It's just amazing stuff. Now maybe by the end of the year we might see Bitcoin hitting between eighty five thousand dollars and hundred dollars. If we are to see that happening, then I will say that, yes, we have closed the year very, very well in the crypto space. So my name is Mr. Shah, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates and then more tutorials and more reviews and, 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 and many things about cryptocurrencies that I'll be sharing in this channel. So hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and also don't forget to leave that comment down there. I would love and like to know what you guys think. Guys, I love you all and I appreciate you all. And thank you guys for the love. My name is Mr. Shah. I'm out, guys.